Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your month ahead reading for the month of July. Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. There's a little something for all of you here, but as always, take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Not everything may apply to you and that's okay. So just take what works for you and leave the rest behind. I am Erica Snow, the Curious Capricorn, and I am here to give you your month ahead reading for the month of July. All right, so let's see what's coming up for you. Y'all just had your birthday season. I hope you were loved on and celebrated and had a fabulous time. I hope the start of your summer is off. Hope your summer is off to a good start. Okay, let's see what the cards have for you. So right out the gate, you are learning to manage your material world in a new way. You are up leveling how you manage your material, whether that be finances or, you know, your physical material possessions, how you ground yourself, you're up leveling. Okay. There is, um, yeah, there's some new lessons coming in for you for how you manage the material world around you. Again, could be your finances, could just be grounding, whatever earthly material stuff means to you. Okay. Yeah, you've got you've got some worries that you're releasing and you're shifting your mindset. These two came together, okay? So you are letting go of the thoughts that have been keeping you up all night, worrying, like you're not losing sleep worrying anymore. You're shifting your mindset. You're taking on a new perspective, okay? You're open to a new mindset and a new perspective and to releasing all of this because it's not serving you, okay? That old stuff that you were up late worrying about, it's not serving you and you're tapping into a new mindset, okay? You're tapping into a new mindset and you are, you're making it happen. You're like, nope, I'm done with that. I believe in myself and I know I can make it happen. I know I can create what I want to create. I know I can create the reality I desire. And surprise, the sun, you're going to be successful. It's going to happen because you're ready. You finally made the shift. You're like, no, I'm done. I'm leaving those worries in the past. I'm leaving that behind. I'm on a new path. And then we get the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So we start with Page, and then we go through all of this shifting through the sun, and then we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Like, it's almost like it doesn't take you long to up-level how you handle your material world around you, how you handle your money, your finances, your grounding. Like, you're really ready. You're really ready to do things differently. And, like, this is, this is just, this is the past. This isn't even, like, you're not even worrying right now because you've already let it go. You've already let it go and you've already shifted your mindset. And you're, like, full-blown tapping in to making it happen. Whatever you want it, whatever it is for you, you are making it happen. And this is, like, when this card pops up, you're going to be successful. Like, the sun is, like, you will be successful, especially if you stay committed to the process. That we've also got the Queen of Wands here. So Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands. Another up level in how you create, in tapping into your courage, your determination, your passion, your creativity. Like, whatever's coming from you, Gemini, is going to be bold. Okay, that is a lot, and I need a clearer message, please. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you are nurturing yourself through this process and you're tapping into your feminine energy to truly create from a place of just being and knowing and intuition and trusting your gut. Like you are like, I got this. I know I got this. I know this is right for me. Whatever you're working on right now is like very much in alignment for you very much in alignment for you. 
like with all this this beautiful wands sun pentacles energy here you are tapping into a place of alignment and your feminine energy of just being okay trusting your intuition and knowing and the creator like you are creating you are creating from a passionate place from a courageous and bold place don't let your mind play tricks on you okay don't let these old worries resurface and start to try to take over okay stay in alignment don't don't fall for this this is a test okay this is just coming up because you're meeting a new growth edge you're meeting a new growth edge because you're leveling up in such a way that like the fears coming up yeah and then the heartbreak card like if you're like afraid you're gonna get hurt you go through this process and it's like going so smoothly so quickly that you're like is this too good to be true is this too good to be true don't don't doubt it okay don't stay in this is this too good to be true energy recognize it for what it is it's it's just a test at this new growth edge this new level of growth it's you're being asked to embody all of this work all of this work that you've done okay everything you've already grown through this is a moment of being asked to really step into embodiment of it because you've done the work and it's like you so quickly moved on from your worries into shifting your mindset before and you were like so in tune and aligned like remember that when it gets harder when it gets harder to let go of of the thoughts that are holding you back and feeling like you're going to be hurt remember how you were so clearly like in the beginning of the month like i I'm, I'm letting that go those worries are in the past. I don't need that anymore. I don't need to tap into that energy anymore. I have a new mindset. Remember that, okay, when it comes back up. Because it will come back up to test you. It is coming back up to test you. Your mind is going to try to play some tricks on you. Five of swords and three of swords. It's But it's just a test, okay? Don't think about what could go wrong. Don't think about, like, don't get into all the worries and the negative energy. Remember, you are the light. You are going to be victorious. Like, you have the ability. You are courageous. You are bold. You are fierce. You are confident, okay? Remember that. Remember how much work you have done you're not that old version of yourself anymore that was easily trapped by fear this is not this is not who you are anymore okay this has been let go of this is this is not you so when this comes up don't fall for it okay don't fall for this don't 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 okay <laughs> Don't let it take you over. Keep going. Nurture yourself through this creative process. There's going to be moments of doubt. There's going to be moments of imposter syndrome, okay? That is natural. That's a natural part of the process. Conserve your resources, okay? Your energy, your time, your finances, your material goods, like... Be conservative with your resources. Really take your time, okay? Don't don't rush. Don't rush into this. Good things take time, right? Good things take time. You don't have to rush the process. It's all coming together exactly as it's meant to, okay? So even slow progress is progress, all right? Slow progress is progress. But you are on your way to self-sufficiency, to abundance, to reaping the fruits of your labor, right? The rewards of the work that you've put in, it's coming. It's coming. Make sure you conserve your resources so that it can come, right? Those came back to back of each other, four of pentacles, nine of pentacles. 
So make sure you're not like just frivolously throwing it all out there. Have a plan, right? Use that Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands energy to have a clear plan of how to move forward. And again, also Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, but it's all coming together. It's all coming together for you. You just have to trust and believe it and do the work. And the, the, um, the overall theme for everyone has been, you know, the work is going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it. Okay. So like all of these tests and yet again, another test, imposter syndrome, not trusting your intuition, doubting yourself. It's all coming up. It's a test. It's a test of your commitment. Okay. It's, it's a test to see if you can fully embody what you've learned and what you're stepping into. But you can. You've planted seeds and they're growing. It just takes time for them to grow. But look at this, this beautiful harmony, emotional fulfillment that is coming in, okay? Good things take time, 11-11. As I said that, good things take time. Good things take time, but they're coming and they're worth it. This work is not going to be in vain, okay? So don't, don't give up when you get tested. Stay committed to the process. Stay in this new mindset. Stay in this creative, passionate, courageous energy. Stick with it, Gemini. Stick with it. Trust the process, okay? And I know y'all are air signs, so the thoughts, the words, the communication, all of that stuff is like, that's your, I need a clearer message, please. That's your jam, right? That's like, that's where you thrive. But it also can be our downfall, right? Something that we're good at can also be our downfall. So make sure you're not letting these negative thoughts take over when they come up to test you, okay? Make sure you're not letting them completely take over and shift everything, because you've done a lot of work. You're putting in a lot of work. You are doing, a, this is a massive up level. And overall, if you commit to the process, you will be successful, but you have to commit to the process. Okay. And you have to pass the test. And you have to just chase after it with determination. Like stay determined to not let these moments of doubt and worry and fear hold you back. Stay determined, stay the course. This is the goal, okay? This vibe, these vibes, this energy, this is the goal. This is what we're charging after. This right here is what we're charging after. This is what we're determined for. Not this, okay? Mm -mm. No, 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 not this. This right here. Do you see like just the difference in vibe and energy also of like the colors and like the feelings of these cards. Do you see how, how, how much happier this is? This is what we're charging after. Okay. This is what we're moving towards. This is what we're leveling up into. This is what that new mindset shift, what these seeds, these new seeds you've planted mentally, that's what, that's what we're working towards. That's what that's for. Okay. So don't let the imposter syndrome take over. Don't let the fears and the doubts take over. Okay. It's not all going to fall apart on you. You're just being tested. You have to stay the course. You have to stay committed to the process. Okay. You got this again. The work is going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it. Okay. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it. Now we're tapping into the Moonology Oracle deck because it is Cancer season and Cancer's ruled by the moon, okay? And, you know, I have a feeling that this work is going to bring up some feelings for you. So let's just let's see what the moon has to offer for additional support for this month of July for Gemini. All right. Yeah, this is going to be... I'm so excited to see how you take this on, Gemini. This is going to be really beautiful and the shift that you can make from committing to this process like your growth you, your growth knows no bounds you are limitless you have so much potential okay so just just trust the process 
trust the process, stay committed, and you got this. You got this, okay? All right, let's see. Oh, that was real quick. Okay. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon in Capricorn, which is happening in just a few days, uh, and full moon eclipse. It's not an eclipse, but, you know, whatever. These cards still hold weight, even if it's not the exact cycles we're going through. But the end of a tough cycle approaches. Conclusions are within reach. Okay? You are about to be done with this. You're about to be done with this. You are leveling up through this. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Conclusions are within reach. Conclusions are within reach. Okay? Happiness, fulfillment, joy, vibrant energy, success. Like, it's all coming in for you. You just got to stay committed to the process, committed to the work, okay? But I know you can do this. I believe in you. And I can't wait to see how you blossom from this, okay? I love you so much, Gemini. As always, if this resonates, please let me know in the comments below. Like and share with your fellow Gemini friends. And subscribe to this channel so you are in the know when new videos get posted, okay? I love you so much, Gemini. I'm sending you so much love for this process and I can't wait to see what you create and what you do with all of these challenges, okay? Love ya, I'll talk to you again soon.